So here's the preferred cleaner that I've found. CLR. Use that on these dirty suppressor baffles. Ultrasonic cleaner. About 15 minutes, no more problems. These little 22 suppressors, they really get dirty quick. This is going to be a little demonstration. That's 10 rounds through what was an absolutely clean suppressor. These were all shiny titanium. Let's see what this does. There in my CLR and a little Ziploc baggie. I'm just going to go ahead and drop these down in there. I'm sure they're covered well. Now you're not going to want to put your tube or your end cap down inside that CLR because it will take the finish off in an ultrasonic cleaner. It's not good for it. But all of your baffles, kind of remove the air from them. Zip lock your baggie up. Get your water heated up to 50 in your ultrasonic cleaner. You just take your baggie with your parts in it, drop it down inside the water. Set your timer up. I think I went 15 minutes last time. Probably won't take that long this time because it's just 10 rounds. <laughs> Okay, the ultrasonic cleaner is done. I just rinsed the CLR out of this bag, and here are the baffle pieces after 10 minutes. You can see that really did a number on it. These are all wonderful clean. It doesn't matter what configuration they're in when they go in that bag, it just cleans them right up, and it is awesome. Really, really happy with that method. Because if you ever try to clean a 22 suppressor baffle by hand, it is a pain in the rear end. It takes forever. Invest in that ultrasonic cleaner. $60 will save you a lot of trouble. And a little CLR, you got to do that. Because if you just use soapy water, it's not going to come clean. I'd have to do these parts by hand. And you're always going to have to have a little bit of labor involved. But that is a lifesaver. CLR. It's awesome.